viewers, my name is Faith Kulo and I'm a third year student doing Bachelor of Environmental Health at the Nelson Mandela University. The environment around you influences your health and the health of your friends, family and colleagues in countless ways, such as exposure to polluted air and water, contaminated food which can make you sick and an unsafe work environment which can increase your risk of getting hurt on the job, the effects of climate change just to name a few. In this degree, you will learn to understand and manage environmental health issues such as food safety, air pollution, water pollution, infectious disease outbreaks, safety and well-being in the workplace, hazardous waste, waste disposal, environmental protection, public health, and so much more. Well, I decided to study environmental health because it touches on every aspect of daily life. It involves developing valuable skills in risk assessment and management. Environmental health practitioners explore the interaction between people and their world to better address this environmental impact on our health. During the COVID-19 pandemic, environmental health practitioners have an important role since the initial response to the outbreak which led to the rapid implementation of access control at the borders and the implementation of isolation and quarantining rules and lastly conducting public education with regards to the preventative measures that everyone has to adhere to. The end goal is to improve the lives of all the people at home, at work and across the globe for the generations to come. Well, the minimum admission requirements are an applicant with the National Senior Certificate Grade 12 requires a minimum applicant score of 390, at least 50% for mathematics, 50% for physical sciences, 50% for life sciences. The Bachelor of Environmental Health is offered on a full-time basis over a four-year period. Learners graduating from this qualification will be able to function independently as environmental health practitioners. Graduates will be able to implement the principles of risk identification, assessments and management to improve the health of the community. In addition, they will be able to apply research skills, apply legislation, regulations and policies related to the environmental health and advise and educate role players on specific issues within their scope of practice. The role of a general environmental health practitioner includes a visit to a variety of premises to determine whether they comply with the health regulations, assessing aspects, for example, air pollution, and offering advice to the public and businesses related to preventing diseases, consulting and activities related to occupational hygiene, all of that may be done by an environmental health practitioner. These roles are also included in the degree. Employment may be at a number of entities, such as the local authorities, which is of course the municipalities, private industries and sectors, for example, the consulting and auditing, port health services under the National Department of Health, Department of Water and Sanitation, Department of Agriculture, meat inspection agencies, Department of Environmental, Forestry and Fisheries. One could also continue your studies after the degree and go into the research field, creating knowledge through research at the various research institutions. As the Nelson Mandela University, we offer a Master's of Science in Environmental Health as well as PhD in Environmental Health. The postgraduate qualification will further equip the students to pursue a career in variety of specialized fields. Well, there's also a compulsory practical training, which is a work integrated learning. It must be completed and the minimum of 100 days of work will be spread over the four year period. This includes various activities such as a visit to an abattoir, the local authority and just to name a few. All South African healthcare students must complete a year of community service during the year following their final year of study. The placement process is organized by the National Department of Health and usually takes place during the second half of each year. Well, if you want to play an important role of taking care of human health and the environment, then join me in studying environmental health at the Nelson Mandela University and let's change the world together.